So before we get too far into this video, this video is brought to you today by our sponsor, who is... Apparently this video doesn't have a sponsor. I really need to get better at getting a sponsor for my videos. So in this case, this video is brought to you by cows. Remind me to get a better sponsor than cows next time. So I ran into the owner of another septic company at a gas station. We were both getting diesel, the pumps next to each other. So we started talking. We're on good terms. As a matter of fact, whenever we started out, he helped me out with how to do things in, in the company. And while we're talking, my phone rings, and it's a customer. They want to know how much it is to get their septic tank pumped. I ask what county they're in, I find out. It's like, listen, septic tank pumped is 415 bucks. And if you don't have risers and we have to dig it up, it's going to be an additional $50 a foot for us to dig. Now the man on the other end of the phone, he doesn't say anything. He just hangs up. Not a thank you, not a fuck you, just dead air, which is fine. I go back to talk with my buddy and he's telling me all about how his 11 year old is just kicking ass at paintball. It's great stuff. Well, we're talking about this for less than a minute and my buddy's phone rings. So my buddy answers the phone and sure enough, it's the same guy. And he asked my buddy the same question. How much for a septic tank pump? My buddy says, where do you live at? And he says, well, I live in the cove. He says, okay, septic tank pump is gonna be about $400. Now there's a few things that you should probably know about the Cove in order for this story to make sense. And those begin with, I will never have enough money to live in the Cove. This is where the houses start at a million and go up to, oh my God, I can't count that high. What I'm trying to tell you is, is this is the kind of place where the squirrels in the trees dine on imported nuts. This is the kind of place where the designer poodles don't play fetch with sticks. They prefer name brand designer baton. Now, as soon as my buddy on the phone gives him the price of 400 bucks, the customer loses his shit and starts screaming stuff. And I don't remember exactly what he said, but it goes something like this. Boy, you septic pumpers really need to get your shit together. Whenever I bought this house, it cost $200 to get my septic tank pumped. And now, just 10 years later, you guys are over $400. You guys have more than doubled your price. Highway robbery. Jesse James had a gun. I don't know what the hell you guys are trying to do to people. Blah, 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 blah. Now, at this point, I half expect somebody to hang up. Either my buddy or the customer. Because, let's face it, this conversation has gone downhill. But that's not what happened. Now, I pride myself on being pretty blunt and pretty straightforward, and I say things that people don't want to hear, and I do that unapologetically. But I was not prepared for what my buddy was about to say. He just lit in on this guy, and he's like, listen, everything's gone up. Diesel, labor, parts, materials, trucks, pumping oil, disposal fees, all our prices have gone up. Hell, when you bought that house, Coca-Cola was probably 50 cents a can. Now it's two to three dollars. So what, everybody else gets to go up on their price, but I don't get to go up on mine? Now at this point, I half expected somebody to hang up. I mean, hell, conversation's gone even more downhill. But that is not what happened. Apparently my buddy just paused to take a breath because he lit right back into the customer. And he's like, so just how much money exactly do you think is a fair price? Because I've got to go out buy a $150,000 truck to stay in business, carry millions of dollars of insurance, have a company license, drive to your house with diesel prices the way they are, do manual labor in your yard to dig up your septic tank because you didn't want to put risers on it like is required, drag hoses to your tank, pump the shit out of the tank at your house into my truck, then carry and pay to have it disposed of at someplace else. I'm in it for four hours minimum. So you go ahead and tell me what a fair price is up there trying to poor mouth me while you live in a million dollar house in the cove acting like $400 is a freaking problem. I'll bet you wouldn't do the same job for less than a thousand dollars. So I don't want to fucking hear it. That is the moment in which my buddy decided to stop talking and we just listened and it was silence. You could almost hear the crickets. I'm sure they were designer crickets imported specifically for the residents of the cove. Needless to say, we didn't hear anything. And with that silence on the line, my buddy waited for about two seconds, and when he didn't hear anything, my buddy lights in again. Yeah, it's what I thought. I ain't got a damn thing to say. And then my buddy hung up the phone. Now, I legitimately thought that this guy had managed to piss off my buddy, but that wasn't the case. Whenever my buddy hung up the phone, he was talking to me completely unupset and completely calm. And he just explained, listen, I'm not gonna go to work, bust my ass, dig holes, spend money, and not make enough money to cover my expenses and go broke. I can go broke sitting at the house. And besides, I got better snacks at the house. And to be fair, that's a real point. And then without missing a beat, goes right back to tell me about his kid in sports. 
So we finished pumping our diesel fuel and went about our separate ways. And as I was pulling out of the gas station, I realized I got a lot of respect for my buddy for being so unapologetically truthful with this person that kind of lit into him about something that maybe that customer shouldn't have lit into him about. And while I wouldn't have handled the situation the same way, I do have a little bit of admiration for how my buddy handled it. Now, I would love to tell you that a few minutes later, I got a phone call back from that customer and we went out and pumped a septic tank and made a whole bunch of money, but that didn't happen. Never heard from that customer again. The moral of the story is, is you don't have to tell a small business owner how to manage and run their business. It's their business. If you don't like how they're doing it, just use a different business. But it's their business and they get to run it the way they want to. And you as the consumer don't have to use them if you don't want to. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed the story. If you want to hear more like them, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can see more of my content. Helps you out and it helps me out. Go have a wonderful day and be awesome.